I wasn't going to record, but look at this. Oh man, look what I found. This is disgusting. Ugh. So this is a piano a keyboard. Upside down. <clears throat> I fixed this about a year or a year and a half ago. Um, there are corroded batteries in it, and I looked up how to clean corrosion off of the um, battery slots so you can use it again. And they said online to use uh, vinegar, which actually worked really well. But I didn't fully get the vinegar off after cleaning it, and man, it just ate away the PCB. Look at that, right there. So now it's not turning on. Although there's actually connection because this cleaned off really well. This is where the battery goes. It slides in um, like that. There's six AA batteries. Um, the PCB is face down over here. I don't, I don't want to mess it up. I'm just using one hand right now, but I'm still going to try to fix this. Um, my biggest problem is just like corrosion on the traces and especially over here that was uh, part of the ground plane and it looks like we are getting connection with a battery just not to the ground so I'm gonna try to clean this off with some alcohol I'm gonna try to scrub it really well I'm just gonna put it in this double cardboard box over here just put the PCB in there and uh, use a toothbrush and some 91% isopropyl alcohol and uh, hopefully that'll clean off well enough for me to start doing some repairs on this and get this piano up and running so I'll be back after I clean this off oh yeah I forgot to mention um, I think the biggest reason this happened was well obviously I didn't clean off the vinegar enough but there was also this um, spongy type of material um, all along over here that I ripped up but looks like this absorbed the vinegar and kept it there um, and I guess over that past year or so it just started spreading and reacting with the uh, copper inside the PCB and the PCB itself too. There's there's like um, solder mask pieces coming off. I, I guess I already took them all off but there's literally chips of solder mask coming off of this. Anyway, yeah, I'll be back. Well, I cleaned it. Um, not perfectly, but this should be good enough. It was hurting my wrist. I had to scrub really hard and it wasn't coming off. And the funny thing is I started with alcohol and it almost did nothing. So then I tried baking soda because, well, vinegar and baking soda, you know, they neutralize each other. Um, baking soda didn't do anything either. So guess what I tried next? Vinegar. And believe it or not, it worked the best. Um, so now, obviously, I'm going to have that problem again unless I clean it off. So I drenched this guy with alcohol and scrubbed like crazy, and my wrist is probably going to be sore tomorrow. Um, but you can see all the dirt and muck that came off of it. Um... So now I'm just going to start looking for some bad traces with the continuity test and uh, figure out where there's no connection. Um, I don't have a tripod or anything for my phone, so I'm going to do some tests and come back when I found something. I think I found our problem. 
Um, and actually cleaning it off did help a lot because this area over here, um, before I cleaned it, I would not have seen it. I looked back at the video and I would not have seen it. But uh, let me try to get this focused correctly if you can see that. It almost looks like a mouse chewed this away or something. So this trace was obviously going through here and kept going wherever it goes. Um, so I'm most likely going to, um, well obviously I'm going to grab a wire and solder it from one end to the other, but if we follow this trace, and it goes back here, right here. So I'm going to figure out what this is on the other side of the board, and I'm going to do the same over here. Uh, on the other side and I'm gonna solder a wire from here to here um, but not on this side of the board it, it would be easier to solder on this side but this side of the board actually goes face down uh, into the uh, oh, there you go you can see some of the solder mask that came off um, while it was in there and just the vinegar ate away, ate it, ate it away. Um, but uh, what was I saying? This PCB goes face down into here, and there's all the buttons that you press. Um, there's the spots for them. So I'm afraid if I'm gonna put a wire over here or something, it might actually get in the way as I try to screw it in upside down so yeah, I'm gonna figure out where it is solder it and hopefully that's the only connection issue that's definitely the obvious one though you can see it's just gone all right okay uh, here it is so spot right here was coming from here and then I soldered this white wire and then the other spot went to this side of this of the diode over there so uh, let's see if it works I put these PCBs back on um, only with a couple of screws just for testing I'm not gonna screw it all the way back on with all the screws because if it still doesn't work then that's pointless so um, yeah the batteries come into over here let me show you and so they slide in through here and they go all the way up over here against the spring that's underneath the PCB over here um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put in these Cheap Harbor Freight batteries. Free actually, that's how cheap it is. And let's see if it works. It's on. It's on. Okay. Any sound? Oh yeah. There we go. Uh oh. 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 What is going on over here? Hmm. Is this a setting or is it so messed up? I have no idea. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Hmm. 
Okay, time to look for my more bad traces. You know what? Actually, I think that was a setting. Because if I put it on normal, it works. Hmm. If I put it to, to this setting, hmm, I don't know. I think that's a setting, but I'll take a look for traces anyway. Okay, it's all back together now. I didn't find any other bad traces, um, so I'm pretty sure that problem we ran into isn't actually a problem. It's just a part of the settings. So... Oops. What did I do? Alright, now I'm just playing around. But, yeah. Works. Cool. So, what's the lesson here? Um, I'm still going to use vinegar, but I'm going to make sure I clean it off really well from now on. And I guess that's it. <laughs>